proud. Amen. 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 Today, by way of announcements, we know that this first Sunday we don't have an outing, but uh, we are expecting to visit this morning from our family reunion, and we thank God for <coughs> uh, all who have come uh, in the first.
through Sunday. Amen. Oh, come on in. And I said, Xander and DJ. I think they run off. That's where I did. Yeah, they go. Down the street. Jimmy over there. He found it. Jumped out. He's going to throw him off. I'm trying to get away. I'm trying to get away. Okay. I'm coming in. He let me in. Bro. <coughs> he ain't bad. Amen. <coughs> Amen. But anyway, uh, this is the first time by way of announcements uh, for September. You know that September is choir day. Amen. 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 That's not working. Wait a minute. Uh, <laughs> That's the end of Saturday night before the third Sunday before choir day. And this year it's on the, the 17th of uh, September. And uh, brother, brother Bobby Gray Ray has agreed to help us uh, and get a musician for our new choir day. Amen. And he asked that uh, the, the choir members to participate. Put that back in there. I got. I found it right here. Okay. Who are we talking? Anyway, we're going, bro. Uh, we encourage choir members and all those. Uh, and Ray asked that we ask the ones who helped us in the the passing wife's anniversary choir. We want to do like a Mount Island reunion choir. Amen. So you are coming up. Help sing with us and, uh, for our choir day for this year. So looking forward to that for the 17th. That's Friday night. And we expect to have rehearsals. This coming week. Just now. Okay, this uh, week? Yeah, two I days. know we're supposed to do it on Thursday, but I'm trying to see what would be convenient. Okay. Uh, the Tuesday evening or... You said you're going to try to do two days yeah, this week? two days this week and then another one the following week. Okay, so let us, let us know so the choir members just keep ears out and invite those uh, who have to sent today. Uh, thank you, Pastor Family. We're going to come down. We'll invite them to help us uh, in our choir day. Mm -hmm. And remind to our choir mm -hmm. members the representation of $50 per choir member. Amen. Amen. So we know we have uh, musicians coming up us that we need to have a good, good report for our choir day. Amen. 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 the cost. So we we'll remind all our choir members. Amen. Sister, did we get a, a program from St. Mary? Yeah. Uh, I got it. Okay. Okay, okay I see one from St. John here. Saint yeah, St. John. St. John. I think they need to She was telling me yesterday. She has some program. Yeah. Oh, okay. St. Mary? St. Mary yeah. No. Nah. Yeah. This is from St. John. St. John. This is, okay, let me read this one. St. John Baptist Church, 101 Sissom Avenue, Avalon, Texas. Dr. William E. Cook, Senior Pastor, The Revival. Uh, so on Thursday, <coughs> Thursday, September 8th, 2016, 7 p.m., sponsored by the Mission Department to bring a friend, great speakers. I'm expecting to be blessed. So that's from St. John the Bible. I ain't heard of uh, any of St. Mary. We know that we normally attend their, their musical. But uh, what Saturday night did she say? Saturday. That's the second Saturday night. They used to have their second one. They normally have their the second Saturday night of September. I know last year they didn't have it. And they told us that they wouldn't have it. Okay. All right, then. We're we'll looking forward to the second Saturday. There's always a second Saturday night. And ours is out uh, normally the Saturday night before the third Sunday. Sometimes, depending on how the month rolls in, the 
the first comes in, we get you know kind of mixed up on it. Mm -hmm. but, uh, I'll make contact with you. Okay, brother. All right, so we, we want to support uh, St. Mary and St. John. Yeah. They will support us in our musical station. Yeah. We want to invite others Amen. Uh, to come to our musical. Amen. We want to uh, invite uh, Annie's Mount Zion and some of the choirs in the city to come uh, to our musical. So let's just pray about our musical. We want to make a yes. uh, have a glorious sign our musical. We, we saw it out early. We want to try to get it. Get the word out. Get the program so a great musical. Also, following the musical pastor is our uh, annual fall revival. Following our choir day, the annual uh, fall revival. Amen, Pastor. Will you start that Sunday night? Yes. Okay. I can, uh... Right here, are some copies. Okay, okay, you can let us know. Yeah, I'll, I'll let know. We'll start the Sunday night. Right. Sunday night through Wednesday night. Amen. So Amen. In your fall revival. Amen. 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 Speaker, so we're looking forward to that also coming up in September. Mm -hmm. Amen. So, God, it's good. We thank you Amen. for all that uh, we have planned for September. We pray his blessings. Amen. Uh, okay. Uh, you know, different things that we have we know that we've been invited to uh, Ennis Mount Zion today in appreciation services for Elder Rome. Mm -hmm. Elder Rome. We have his appreciation service today at 3 30 mm -hmm. at uh, Ennis Mount Zion. Amen. Yes, uh, Ken and Wilson uh, <coughs> support uh, Ennis Mount Zion Amen. in uh, that program. Amen. That's for September. Uh, mm -hmm. As we get further to the month, we'll see what it is. We know that uh, full Sunday fellowship coming up in September. Amen. We don't have a fifth Sunday. I think our next fifth Sunday is October. Yeah. Uh, yes. We don't have one for uh, September. But we uh, just pray as we go through this month that we get success. Uh, our weekly weekly meetings for this week are the same. Uh, mission six thirty. Uh, pack. Everybody let us know about the choir rehearsal. Let's look forward to announcing on the choir rehearsal for, right. for uh, this uh, week. So, 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 Amen. Amen. We're soliciting the choir for our music. All right. Let's try to get this good voice. Let's try to get your voice together. Let's mm -hmm. working on the uh, choir day for this year. Uh, we have pray for all of the auxiliaries our mission uh, choir. Uh, ushers, we pray for them that they come up next month. Man. Let's start praying. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. We Amen. pray for the bereaved families. We see this sister Griffin is not here. Pray for our sick and shut in. Mm -hmm. We'll kind of get them in right quick. Our sick and shut in. We know that Reverend Griffin, he's out of the hospital. Amen. He's on. Amen. He's doing well. Thank God. Amen. Oh, yeah. Next time we went to the hospital, he's been good spirit. All right. Taking all two out of him. So we're going to have to release him. Amen. Amen. The God will be Thank God for that. Yes, so we're going to continue to pray for uh, Brandy, uh, Brandy Foster's sister, Brother Ernest's daughter. Amen. They moved up to a rehabilitation facility. Amen. Thank Amen. God for that. Amen. They're going to get her on the bed. So thank God they were to move her. Get her into rehab. Amen. And uh, all of the sick and shut in, grieving families. I shot a special prayer for my uncle, Lester. Mm -hmm. uh, they took him to the hospital last week and they found out he is a COPD. I mean, his breathing is really giving a problem, so pray for him and he is healed. I, I don't know if he's very least or not, perhaps we'll find out, you know. And I'll see how he's going. But uh, I'm going to see the show and we thank God. Mm -hmm. uh, things goes well with us all as they are. Just continue to pray for uh, Eric Griffin to get back with us this man. Now, I want to say, I think, forgive my seat. I, I thank God mm -hmm. for the prayers mm -hmm. for the last time. Amen. 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 When I drove up, I saw your car. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. The Sims. 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 Sims.
That's right, since they passed away. Uh-huh. Yeah, I heard about that last week that a uh, Jewish daughter yeah. passed away. So they can't reach out. They pray for their family. They pray for them. Amen. Okay. Uh, if I might have that sound up, well, we know this is the first Sunday in the month. Amen. September birthday. Okay, well, it's been uh, real different. My dad's birthday today. Day two. Yeah, day four. Okay. My birthday today. You want to see that, Tracy? Tracy, you wore some food. You wore some food. Who was that? Oh, sorry. I thought y'all birthday was full. Okay. Okay. Yes. So I said birthday out there. Finally, when your birthday? Twenty-four. All right, Kylie, happy birthday. The twelfth. Anybody else? Anybody else? Okay. This this final one. Okay. Okay. We got birthdays together. We're gonna give a calendar. Everybody name on on the eighteenth. I think it's on a Sunday too. Birthday, birthday. says, live near to God and all things will appear will appear to you little in comparison with eternal realities. Mm -hmm. And that's from the shame. These have been our announcements for the Jones of the Court. Alright. Alright. Amen. 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 Say amen. 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 On this morning, amen, this month of September, so we're praying. Amen. Uh, this is a, a choir month, so we look forward to, uh, to giving you support uh, in your, your special day coming up, one of the musicals that will be coming up in the future, so let's uh, pray for them. And we look forward, amen, certainly to a uh, uh, senior reunion choir, amen. Amen. Keep doing something like this. Maybe we can get these families back together. Amen. Amen. So I get back in. Let's get, amen. 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 Uh, Lord, get right church and let's try to go home. Amen. 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 Try to go home. Yes, Lord. That's, that's only one way. Amen. That's, that's, amen. That's, that's through Him. Amen. We got this. Try to trust Him. And, amen. Uh, and certainly, uh, for being here, Jesus is our Lord and Savior. Amen. Himself for and died for us. So uh, we're praying for this upcoming event, especially the revival. I need you to pray with me. I need someone to fast. Amen. Amen. I've got someone to fast in here, fast and pray uh, uh, for a revival. I'll be getting at that next week. Amen. We're praying and fasting. Amen. Gain a little weight. Amen. I figure, amen. I got some room. I can do that now. Amen. Jump off a few, a few pounds now. But pray for us. I get busy on this. I uh, got on the Saturday going to get this started. I found the list here of uh, those uh, uh, formal speakers, and we make sure I get some of the same churches like uh, Timothy. Uh, they started out with us. That's 2015. They was here on the Sunday. Uh, so I'm sure some of you enjoyed uh, uh, Pastor Morrell. Uh, uh, Pastor Morrell, come yeah. on that Wednesday night. Amen. He's pretty good. And we we'll see if we can make contact with him. And that uh, we're going to try to get McDonald up in here. Right. Hey, Amen. Yeah. On Sunday morning. Right. <laughs> Mr. McDonald, he didn't take no time, but he did. He was right there for me. He be seeing these people out. So we need. He's a good one. He said, Pastor, you need to bring me back. I need to come on Sunday morning. He said, I'll see something. Hey, man, I need to work with you on this. God show me something in here. I need to, I need to come here on Sunday morning. So uh, pray for me, amen. Pray for the revival. We're going to see if we can contact Amen. Him. Amen. 
Big Ben uh, get me on a Sunday morning. But we'll have all this on hand, and once we get it started, and, and even the choir, I have some old copies here uh, of your uh, flyer from 2015 also. Okay. If you don't have 16, you just kind of copy from this, and just you your due date 2016, yeah. and go from there. But uh, certainly we're praying, amen, uh, this month, and also, amen, let's uh, pray for our uh, speaker this morning, uh, Brother Neil. They've been back with us, amen. This is the weekend of the family reunions. Uh, Hayes Watkins, it was canceled. But now, uh, uh, Williams and Brown, it was a pretty good turnout over there. And, uh, they, they had they had the West Side Rocket over there. They met on yesterday, those kids. Uh, I believe me, uh, the little kids, the Hispanic kids, they were standing out, they were looking for it. They were what was going on? What's going on down there in that tour? But you talk about food, they been food, man, fabulous, they been, you know, my old Tracy had his, he had his DJ going down there, he had to, <laughs> oh, he had him going down there. But we enjoyed it, they been, it was so great, a uh, great time. But let's pray for, uh, certainly, uh, 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 it is Nick Rochelle of Commerce and Brother Bradley uh, Williams, they've been trying to uh, certainly get things going down there. Uh, for the building, it looks nice inside. I walked in there, it's, it's pretty nice. You'd be surprised. Uh, everything is still together. I'm talking about from sheet rock to ceiling. Uh, nothing is out of place. And all it needs now is just finishing touches. Amen. Not only, and I think it'd be a good place for family reunions and wedding reception, whatever you may want to have down there. Amen. But we're praying for those, uh, for those guys. All right, uh, we're going to get ready. I think we'll be a prayer. Oh, prayer. Okay, and also our sick list uh, this morning. Sister uh, Griffith is not here uh, on this morning, uh, but uh, certainly we'll, uh, we have those eight that on the, on the mind of the list. Uh, certainly, uh, Brandy, Sister Dad, just mentioned her name. Sister Griffin is here. It's home. Uh, let's lift up. Uh, also, Sister Evans Amen. this morning, Sister Emma McDonald, uh, in prayer for her, and also Mother Patricia, Mother Cersei. Uh, they were trying to bring her home today. Uh, they have a family celebration over there at the homestead. So, let's, let's pray for Mother Cersei. My mom, uh, that's what I'm looking over there. That's mom is missing. Uh, uh, so let me go get it. Okay, okay. All right, y'all get on out of here. Just keep getting this church. He better get blessed. But uh, I'm looking for some of the families yesterday to worship us. They were invited to come and worship with us this morning. Uh, but we see uh, Sue is here. Amen. God bless you. Thank you for coming, Sue. Amen. Amen. Who's that behind you back there? Colin Bay, okay, it's me, Colin, they never see the boys back there. Dives and amen, you guys. Thank you for coming by me. Good, good, good to see you. Amen. Likewise, always good to see you. So here behind you. Deborah and Betty, thank God for you. Amen. Thank the Lord brought you to Susan. Amen. Did you come to the game? I knew you was at that game. I was there too, Susan. I was there. I was disappointed too, but I was there. But we're praying he had them get better for us. Okay, let's go to the Lord in prayer. Mom is coming in. She's on the way. God bless her heart. And God, it's good to see Liz Struggles. Amen. Struggles with them. Patricia made it. It's so good to see them. All right, amen. So we come forward now, those of you that want to come forward for prayer. Amen. Let us uh, uh, come. Amen. That we may be in contact. Amen. 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 All right, we got some. We got some help back in this one. Yes, Come on, yeah. pray. Come on, pray. Amen. 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 All right. It's all to be just hauled up. Amen. Right. Hallelujah. Thank God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Prayer is truly announced. Yes, Lord. 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 Yes, Lord.
I'm standing in the gap today to pray for somebody. All right. All right. All right. All right. Who needed healing and blessing. That you are God Almighty. Jesus. And besides me this morning, there is no one. Father, I stretch my hand to thee. All right. For there is no other help that I know. All right. All right. And if God will withdraw that self from me, All right, then. Yes. who all else on earth besides me shall I go? But take it to the Lord in prayer.
true. Oh, yes. Thank you, brother. All right, then. God bless you today. All right, all right. Amen. I don't want to sit there and kill him, but I want to be more to use him. Amen. He just waited for an opportunity. Amen. I don't want to point. It didn't get bad, it didn't get bigger. It didn't get bad. Just, just trust in the Lord. That's it. Just trust in the Lord. Amen. God will. Amen. Make a way for you. Yes, sir. Got it right. Thank you, Lord Jesus. All right. It's all for time. First day of the week, if the Lord has that proper you, so let him go give. Yes. Amen. And the Spirit, amen. Just as your heart today, let us do it now cheerfully. Amen. amen. Be cheerful, give us. Amen. That God may uh, certainly bless you. Amen. amen. In a special way. Amen. The is going to make ready now. We're going to get some uh, marching music. Amen. And those of you, amen, that have to give, amen, let us, amen, let's go. Say, you Lord, amen. I always talk about 
and to get out of the Volkswagen and get in the Cadillac. Amen. So, amen. I uh, uh, pray God will put us in the Cadillac after a while. Amen. Amen. We're going to get out of this Volkswagen and put us in that. Amen. But we're going to see the people, the people come. Amen. So, support because it'll take a whole lot more. Amen. Get in that Cadillac. But, but God is able. Amen. God is able. Amen. On this morning. So, we're, we're going to move on now. Uh, the possible service, but again, pray for uh, one another. Let's pray for the revival, amen. and we're grateful for the families on yesterday. Amen. Uh, they certainly amen. Come forward, amen, and, and got the stuff together. And we had a great, great time, great turnout over there uh, on Fort Reunion. Uh, something else I want to bring up again with the musician, the uh, choir. I want to uh, pray for you, get that pray for you, get, get, get in contact with me. As soon as he can, and uh, the, the, the position is uh, the, 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 uh, possible that we could uh, uh, work with him, see him. Uh, help us with the choir. Yeah, that's, the that's the one I'm trying to get. That's the one I was telling you about. Okay. 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 All right. Help us in that. This time gets closer, and we look forward. We look forward to that. All right. Uh, it's time for some music. Amen. It's time to lift it up. Amen. 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 Musician. Amen. My drummer, Brother Tracy. Amen. 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 And certainly, uh, look, and we are we are uh, uh, looking for new choir members, amen. Those of you interested, amen, in singing with any choir, amen. So feel free, amen, come on, come forward, amen. Let's uh, lift them up, amen. Let's help us up. That's the rule for plenty up here, amen. Amen. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Come on, y'all can do better than that. Amen. Amen. Y'all can do better than that. Amen. Amen. Come on, praise your God. Amen. Amen. He's not dead. He's alive. Amen. Amen. How many of the women that he's alive? Amen. Amen. How many know the trouble of getting in the way Jesus would fix? Amen. Amen. I was telling the Bible, right? Because sometimes, you know, when you're in the spirit, when the spirit moves, you got to go back sometimes. Amen. 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 Amen.
testimony. Yes, Lord. Amen. 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 This song is just to become part of my life. <coughs> yeah. Amen. Thank you, Lord. All right. Yes. When the race is over. Yes, sir. All right. When this run is over, that's All right. Oh, yes. Yeah, but we ought to keep on running. All, All right. right. Amen. Um, I talked to Mother Alexander today. She said, hello, Pastor Al. All right. Yes, yes Lord. Alexander. Amen. Amen. And Amen. I look at them, and uh, am I going out? I say one day I'm gonna be here. Yes. yes. And then my, my race is gonna be over one day. Well, all right. All right. All right. I want yes. somebody that yes. went out there to come out and continue to yes. say yes. the word. Yes. 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 So I get a joy out of it. Thank you, Mr. Griffin started it. I get a joy out of it. Yeah. Uh, that I've taken on this and then Amen. something that has grown attached to Amen. me. All right. But, uh, all right. I know that this race is gonna be over one day. Oh, yeah. 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 I don't know this phrase because of my wife, because of my children, All right. because of my brothers and sisters. <coughs> yes, yes, I don't run this phrase because I want to see Jesus. Yes. Yes.
Then we had, we went down there, bless her heart. And she went out fishing, took it one day. She didn't fish there. She just, she go there watching me from the provision. She read the books, whatever she was doing. And I was out there in that hot sun trying to catch some supper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, was, I was fishing hard. I was just saying, please fish, come on up here. <laughs> please come on. I had told three the day before on some, some telecasts like that. And I said, I got to have about three more. Three more because she can eat fish. She can eat it. And, and, and I, I can eat pretty good. I said, that three ain't going to get it. Yeah. I got to have three, but I get three more. Yeah. And, and, and sure enough, I uh, left there. Uh, the day she was with me, the second day. And we, we give it up. And I go, I'm going to go baby clean these two. These two, I got one that was a little bag. One was big enough. And at that time, I got the tree to say, the tree of my fear. The man walked up saying, see that man over there on that little over there? He said, you go see what he got over there. I said, what, what, what do you care? He said, he got some kids fish over there. Uh, in fact, you wouldn't believe. I said, what? I said, I'm over there in this son of hustling. I should have been over here working with this guy. But I said, what was he using? He said, some shrimp. And I had chicken liver. <laughs> and uh, I said, okay, I'm going to eat over there. I got down. I said, maybe it was a truck wait. I said, look around here. See, that's this guy. See what he got down here. And we talked there for a bit, and when you look at it, it might remind me of Woody Lee, yeah. uh, uh, my dad's brother. Yeah. Yeah. I think mean, Woody Lee, and then maybe you remember Mr. Leroy Beal, uh, the, the, the male contract. He got a favor with Mr. Beal yeah. a little bit. We got to talk in there. I said, I said, they said, look at the cool You can see what, I, what we got here. And then he had him in there, some perch, perch, fish, catfish. I said, man, what a way to go. I said, I got two. I won't take those two. I've got to go over there and then my wife and eat those. And that piece of what I have. He said, well, I'll tell you what. He looked over his wife, and they said something. I didn't hear it at first. She said, like you want to go and get him these? And then she looked, they looked at one another. Said, okay. And uh, he said, I don't know how to clean these fish. I, can't, I just catch them and give them to people. I said, okay. <laughs> and I got to get to the preacher now. And, and, and he said, he said he, this is not what I, what I do because I, I ain't have to do it because the Lord has, has done something for me. Uh, I was real sick. I'm about out of here, but he blessed me. Yeah. And now I can't help but uh, bless people to that fish and give them to them. Uh, and he said, he said, will you accept this gift from me? I said, yes, I would. Yeah. Will you take these catfish? Oh, yes, God. I said, the Lord is good today. <laughs> I said, you know, if you just bless God, you just bless the fishing, but you just bless the preacher. Yeah, uh, you just bless the man of God, too. May God bless you. All right. And for what you've yeah. done, man, I took those catfish and brought them over. The <laughs> I said, I won't take them back to the cabin. I won't come back and we don't feed them. <laughs> but I had to get a good shot knife and cut them. Yeah. Skin them with, the knife was done. And so I said, I said, go back up there to the outlet mall. They got that knife store, home store. That they got that butcher knife. I went up there and bought an electric knife. I bought a set of butcher knife. Then do the electric knife. Just come on back down there. And you know, a catfish don't take long. Just get that head off of there. And take that to the skin off, skin down here. And that's you ready to go. And let me tell you something. Back at that cabin that night, sunset, fish fryer. Get old French fries, uh, hush puppies. And, and when I got the first batch out, good and warm, amen. She went to the plane. Oh, yeah, so I like it hot, like it hot right out of the gym. And, 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 and let me tell you, when we had so much, I looked at those fish, I said, I said, now this is like uh, Peter made a catch. Yeah, the catch would have room to receive all that. See, that's what God opens up. The windows, you don't have the room to receive it. I said, hey, just, there's two of us. We can eat all this. And we, well, we feasted off that catfish. Guess what about the rain? I have something in my freezer right now. I was going to fry it up, fry it up, and come Labor Day. We'll have fish and ribs. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's have catfish and ribs. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. See, let me tell you something. Let me give you a tip here. Uh, God has special people in other places. Yeah, yeah. 
Never met nobody in your life, but I guarantee you, yes, sir, we should have a friend that speaks closer to the brother. That's right. Yeah. Now, around the world, you'd be surprised the people you run into oh, yeah. your first time. Yeah. Yeah. He just seemed like I've known you all my life. Yeah. Tell your wife, I never looked at the face, but seemed like I've been knowing her all my life. Yeah. Because they're beating you, she got me.
down and oh, see yeah, yeah, yeah. God, right now, I ask that you bless this all right, all right. Well, God, I ask that you touch the people that are hurting. God, I ask that you touch those that are on their way. God, I ask that you look over those that God, may not be on their way. God, I ask that you touch those that God, heal them right now in the name of Jesus. God, touch her body right now. Touch her mind right now. And now, God, I ask that you prepare the hearts of the people as I stand here to preach your holy word. Yes, yeah, he's blessing your son, Jesus. Amen. 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 Amen again. All right. All right. Amen again. Amen. 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 The fourth chapter of Second Timothy. All right. I'll be reading verses one through five. All Second right. Timothy chapter four, mm -hmm. verse one through five. All right. When you found it, please say amen. Amen, sir. All right. Thank you. Amen. 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 Fourth chapter, mm -hmm. Second Timothy, verses one through five. Uh -huh. I'll be reading from a King James version. All right, that's it. And then, as I, as I preach, I'm going to be dealing with a New Living Translation, so it may sound a little different. Uh huh. But I'll read the scripture from a All King right. James version. Amen. And it reads as follows. <clears throat> I charge thee therefore before God mm -hmm. and the Lord Jesus Christ, yes. who shall judge the quick and the dead at his appearing mm -hmm. and his kingdom. Preach the word. Yes. Be instant in season mm -hmm. and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. Uh -huh. For the time will come when they will not endure sound doctrine, mm -hmm. but after their own lust uh -huh. they shall keep it to themselves. Teachers having itching ears. Oh, yes. And they shall turn away their ears from the truth and shall be turned unto fables. All right. But watch thou in all things and do afflictions, and do the work of an evangelist, and make full proof of thy ministry. Of your ministry. That's it. And God have a blessing to the readers and the readers of his holy That's word. That's it. Yes, sir. Amen. For a few minutes, uh -huh. I'm going to talk about uh -huh. preach the word. Preach the word. That's, it. That's good. Uh -huh. Preach, Preach the word. That's it, son. The text we find the Apostle uh -huh. Paul who had wrote this epistle. That's right. It was written around AD 67. Okay. And the theme is holding the truth. Holding the truth. Uh, an That's epistle right. is a letter written to inform and correct the church. Yeah, all right, man. Uh, that's one of the issues we have today. Churches lack correction. All right. Um, too many people <clears throat> don't tell me about where I'm sinning and falling short. Uh -huh. Don't tell me about how my life is not pleasing God. Uh -huh. You just tell me how God is going to bless me even in my mess. Right. You just tell me how God is going to love me even though I'm sinning. Uh -huh. And you just tell me how good God is. Don't correct me about nothing I'm doing. Oh, yeah. Don't 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 talk about the fact uh -huh. that I've been in the church 30 years and I'm still shacking. Uh -huh. don't, don't, don't talk to me about that. Uh -huh. don't, don't talk about the fact that I'm a deacon at the church and I'm still knocking off all the little girls at the church getting the prayer. Don't, don't you talk to me about that. You just tell me that God is going to give me things no matter what. Uh -huh. Don't you talk to me about holy living. You just let me do what I do. And you just be happy that I'm showing up putting money in the plane. You just be happy. But, but don't, don't talk to me about what I need to change. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about being holy because he's holy. Don't, don't, don't talk to me about that. Uh, the Apostle Paul wrote the first 13 letters 
addressing a specific situation of problems to the church. Uh -huh. uh, Pauline epistles are as follows. Romans, yeah. First and Second Corinthians, uh -huh. Galatians, Amen. Ephesians, Philippians, Colossians, First Thessalonians, uh -huh. Second Thessalonians, mm -hmm. First Timothy, Second Timothy, Titus, and Philemon. All right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amen. Yes, in the text. Uh huh. Come on then. We right. first have to understand the Apostle Paul when he solemnly urges you to to urge. It's just a strong desire. Yeah. He, he is asking and he is very concerned. Mm -hmm. Therefore, he urges the people. He is, he is concerned Man. with the people. Well, and he yeah. urges them That's right. in the presence of God yeah. that will someday judge mm -hmm. the living and the dead and when the he dead. comes to set up his kingdom. Uh -huh. he, he's right. begging. Yes, that you be prepared. That's right. That's yes, right. He's begging that you get ready. Oh yeah. And, and, and I'm gonna stick a pen right there on the uh -huh. text where it said, uh -huh. "We'll judge the living." Uh -huh. uh, I'm gonna tell you a, a false doctrine that a lot of folk go around preaching, teaching, and believing. Uh -huh. uh, people love to say, "You can't judge me." Yeah. That's a lie. Yeah. Oh. That is a that that is a doctrine from the devil uh -huh. because. Judgment is meant by the believer. Yeah. Now, you gotta realize one thing. When a believer judges another believer, uh -huh. first of all, all a believer is doing is taking what the word of God says. Uh -huh. And if you're not living according to the word, oh, they yeah. are correcting you yeah. with the word. Oh, that's, 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 uh, that, that's love. Yeah, that's right. yeah. that, that, that's why you look at something that now if I'm living a life completely outside of God. Uh -huh. If you love me, you will say something to me about it. Uh, yeah. But, but let, me, let me tell you why they love to say you can't judge me. Because yeah. they know they don't want to live right. Yeah. They know they're not going to live right. And they can connect with God said. Yeah. So don't judge me because I'm not going to be holy anyway. Uh, don't judge me. I'm not going to do what God told me anyhow. Yeah. So you just let me be. Uh -huh. I'm, I'm not trying to live right. So don't talk to me about living right. Uh -huh. And that's why they call you a holy roller because you trying to be right and they going to be wrong. Yeah. So that's why they like to say you a hater. Yeah. You become a hater because you trying to stick to the Bible and they stick into the world. So that's why you a hater. Yeah. I, I, I had even family members unfriend me on Facebook because I stand for the gospel. Uh -huh. It's all right. Go ahead and unfriend me because I'm going to stand for the gospel. Cut. You can do what you do, and I'm still gonna say it over the gospel. And I'm all right. My first point: Jesus is the Word. Uh, in order to know what we're preaching, we have to know who it is that we're preaching. Uh, Jesus is the Word. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was God, and the Word was with God. And later on down in the text around the 14th verse, the word became flesh. That is talking about Christ. All right. So long story short, we have to preach Christ. That's right. If we're not preaching Christ, we're not preaching. That's right. A lot of people think it's all about getting the people to, to say amen. Yeah. But if you're not preaching Christ and they saying amen, it's a lost cause. Amen. The word. Oh, yeah. And the word corrects us. Uh -huh. The word, and you know, people always say Christians act like the police. Oh, well, you right. gotta understand one thing. Like I read in the text, yes, it told us, and let, let me read it again. Mm -hmm. So to correct and rebuke. All right. Correct and rebuke. Yes. That's the job of a Christian. Uh -huh. To correct and rebuke. Yeah. And the first thing people like, they like to jump to Matthew 7 and 1. And let, let me break that down for people who don't understand. Uh -huh. Verse 1 through 5. Verse 1. All Jesus is saying, if you can't handle being judged, you don't, don't judge nobody. Because uh -huh. you can't handle it. But now verse 2, it tells you, for the way you judge them, they'll judge you. So that's what's telling you to believe. Understand. Now you don't just look at somebody and assume anything. You look at the fruit. Now once you've seen the fruit, you can go on and do what you do according to the fruit. But again, like I said, when I know I'm not going to produce 
no godly fruit, don't, don't talk to me about being godly. Because I'm not trying to be God. Don't, don't talk to me about holy living. I'm not just to do it. So, so don't talk to me about forgiving my brother. I'm not I'm a hopeful brother until I die. So don't talk to me about that. Don't talk to me about helping a brother or sister out of need. I'm not gonna do it. So don't talk to me about that. All right. But see, that, that, that's, that's the point. And see, people, right. they love to jump on that. Yeah. Now, yeah. people, they too judge. No, now you just carnal and worldly, uh, and you don't want to live, right? Yeah. Yeah. And let me say this. Yeah. Yeah. Living right does not mean that you don't do nothing wrong. Right. Because living right, that means you've accepted the sacrifice of Christ, right. and his blood has cleansed you. Uh, yeah. And in your belief, that's how you begin to do the right thing. Yeah. And people always say, I'm going, no, you're not going to do nothing. Right. It's the blood of Jesus that covers you yeah. and makes you do whatever you do. Yes, it is the blood of Jesus that causes you to want to live home. Right. The blood of Jesus causes you to think twice before you do something that you shouldn't do. Yeah. And I like to liken the blood of Jesus to insurance on your vehicle. Uh -huh. now, now, you have insurance on your car. All right. Now, even though you have insurance, you will not just drive down the street and just recklessly drive over other cars and drive through people's yards and turn your car. The insurance is there in case, in case of a wreck. That's how the blood of Jesus is. In case we make a mistake, in case we make a decision that's not of God, the blood of Jesus will cover us. All right. Second point. The word is meant to teach and correct us. Like I was previously saying, the word, that's where the teaching and correcting comes from. Yeah. You know, I'll be honest, there, there is no way I should be able to sit up in a church Come on now. knowing that I am living a life of downright, flat out sin. I'm, I'm just living a life of total rejection of Christ. Yeah. I should not be able to sit in church and be calm. All right, yeah. Unless you got a sugar-coated message going for it. And you sure can be comfortable like that. Well, when you got folks coming up giving you a sugar cup, yeah, you sure can be comfortable then. Because they're going to give you everything you want. And I guarantee you, a church like that will be loaded and packed out. But where the gospel going for it, you don't have a hand in it. Tithing is correct. 
But there's a lot of people who have taken the principle of tithing and turned it around All just right. to get the money. All right. <laughs> they have taken it and they turned it around and say that, that you know, God will put a flat in your tire. Right. God will break your car down. God will make you lose your house. God will make you lose your job. I thought the Bible said, let the redeemed of the Lord say so. And if I've been redeemed by the promise of Christ, he not going to go back on his promise. Now, now, understand. Yeah, you, you do need to give because as a believer, giving should automatically be in your heart. Now, there is no way that you believe in Christ and giving is not in your heart. Because God, for God gave his only son. He didn't bargain with us. He gave him. He gave. So if you believe, you should be a giver. But with all this telling you, if you don't give this, he don't. No, that's not going to happen. And then also, Galatians 3.23. If any man hanging from a tree, let him be a curse. All right, sir. Christ became a curse yeah. to break all curses. That's right. And a lot of they love to, to throw the you curse with a curse. No, you're not, because Christ became the curse. All right. It broke all curses. Yes, it is. Now, if Christ hadn't broke the curse, tell me what power was in his blood. All right. But but we say he has power in his blood, but if I don't get my tithes this Sunday, I'm gonna lose my car next week. All right. But yet we say it's power in the blood of Jesus. Uh-huh. If we believe that, we should understand and know that the blood has covered it all. Uh-huh. We have this through believing on Jesus Christ. Yeah. And, and, and let me add this when I talk about it. A lot of people, they, they, you know, when it's hot in the summertime and you come into church and it's steaming, they want to sit there and be mad. Uh-huh. But if you haven't put nothing on the table, uh-huh. you better bring a fan because you're going to be hot. Uh-huh. And it's just a winter time. Uh-huh. And it's cold outside. Uh-huh. If you're not going to put nothing on the table, you better bring a blanket because you're going to be cold. Uh-huh. In other words, if you want things to go right, But, but one third point, that's what I'm saying, be sure of your faith. Yeah. That's right. That's right. There, there's a lot of new faiths out there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You know, there's a one faith, they call it Chris Long. You know, they, they actually say Christianity and Islam are the same thing. Uh-huh. Chris Long is what they call it. Yes. Uh, and what one faith, Hebrew Israelite, that, that's a new thing that a lot of the black people are really getting into. Uh-huh. Uh, saying that we are the original Jew. Now, personally, you can't even look back that far in history to find out whether or not we are or not the original Jews. All right. But let's say that we are. If that's the case, we are the ones who originally denied the Christ. Because if you look in the text, the Jews do not believe Christ has came yet. So if they don't believe Christ has yet came, how can you then turn around and talk about his blood is cut? No, it's not. Because you don't even believe he's came yet. And, and the main thing they teach is hatred for the white man. Yeah. That's, that's the main thing they teach, and hatred for the white man. All right. They, they say God hates white people, but yeah. he loves black people. Yeah. All right. If that's the case, why in the world does he say there is room All in right. the cross? All right. Whosoever come, yeah. let him come. Yeah. It's not about color with God. Right. Yeah. But, but many people have been blinded by that. And I even had a friend. She was always on her Facebook page debating and arguing with these people. Uh-huh. And understand, if you're not sure of your faith, and, and I don't encourage nobody to just debate and argue with people. But definitely, if you're not sure of your faith, do not debate another faith. All right. Because all they're going to do, you're going to be unsure what you believe. And they're going to trick you and get you to believe what you believe is not the truth. Uh-huh. And you'll end up just like she is if you convert. End up being converted. Now she, she just, you know, and all they talk about, 
Jesus is the white man's God. Jesus was the name of a slave ship. I mean, they say things, the letter J didn't come out to the 15th century. His real name is Yeshua. You got to understand something. If my name in Hebrew is Bahasara, but you call me Neil in English, you think God got a problem with that? It's the same name, just different language. And the point that I'm making is, it is all about the blood Jesus. Right. Now I'm right. Yes. 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 And one thing too with Hebrew Israelites, they the main people who refuse to give anything yeah. to the church. Right. They, they refuse to give anything to the man of God. Right. And these are the same people, they can have a big lavish home, but if a preacher got a nice home, he sold from the church. Yeah. Now, I think if a man of God got a job, That's he right. can get those yeah. things. But, but the people, they, they just don't want to see that. They just want to jump down a man of God if he's just a thief and a robber. Uh, yeah. Am I right? Come on. Yeah. All right. Say, yeah. yeah. 2 Timothy 2.15, to show thyself approved unto God, a right. workman that needed not to be ashamed, okay. rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. Yeah. You have a lot of people. Yes, sir. The only time they get the word is Sunday morning. All right, now. Maybe Wednesday night. Yeah. Even getting the word at those two times, you still mm -hmm. have to take time to get in the word. That's right. Because if you don't, you won't even know if a man of God is telling you the truth. Right. Uh -huh. Or just as I just read in here, yeah, giving yeah. you false stories yeah. to get your money. That's right. All right. And then too, it's not always just a false story to get your money. Some people will preach a false story uh -huh. to give you security yeah. that is false. Yeah. That they, you know, the thing is, God did not save us to All rust right. out. Yes, Lord. He saved us to wear out. Uh -huh. uh, you, you don't, you don't want to buy something and just let it just get rusty over uh -huh. the years. Yeah. Right. If you can't use this item anymore, you want it to be broken because you used it so much to do what you had to do, now it just won't work no more. I said, That's how I look with God and a believer. He saved us and he can use us to bring others to him. Uh, you have a lot of people, once they get saved, they just go on and live how they live and say, I pray for repentance on my deathbed. God did not save you to do that. He saved us to go to work. Uh, uh, the same way if, if you, you play football in high school, you don't want to just be on the bench just to say you're on the team. You want to be in the game. Same thing with the believer. You want to be active in the game of bringing people to the same man. I'm a right, right? All right. And in this text, the word show means to cause a person to see. Yeah. Yeah. As believers, we need to cause people to see yeah. that God is the Savior. All right. uh, we need to cause people to see, I say the three C's. We yeah. need to cause people to see that they need to be converted. All right. They need to be convinced. Yeah. And they need to be <coughs> changed. Uh -huh. right. Yes, sir. Because they, they must be convinced that they have a problem first. Yeah. 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 If you don't, if you can't convince a person they have a problem, nothing will change. All right. Then once they've been converted, that's when they can start doing new things. All right. But if they haven't been convinced first, they can't change. But but the other see, I like to say convict because right. they have to be convicted to know that there's a problem. Oh, yeah. It will convince them that they need to be converted. Yeah. Am I right? All right. And, and my fourth point, know who you belong to. All right. All right. Uh, John 10, 4 and 5. And when he put forth his own sheep, yeah. he goeth before them, and the sheep follow him. Yeah. For they know his voice. All right. And a stranger, they will not follow. Yes, See, you have to understand. All right. If you're not in the word, you can't know God. All right. Uh, if you're not in the word, you won't know when God is speaking to you. Yeah. A man of God, and let's just be honest, everybody that stands in a suit and stands behind a pulpit is not a called man of God. Right. You, 
you, you have a lot of people that the reason they got where they are, they have sold themselves for fame and fortune. Uh, uh, you have people that have done things that are not even done. But because they have a lot of things that the eye can see, people believe it. Man. All right. You have a lot of people that follow people based on what they possess. Um, and the Bible teaches you, be not unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what fellowship have Christ with the life? <laughs> you see a lot of people who join themselves to the world. They have worldly celebrities coming to their churches. They have worldly celebrities. Keep in mind, they have not been saved. They have not been changed. Uh -huh. They are still the same worldly celebrity they was. Yeah. But they come to their churches and speak at church events. All right. They All come right. to their churches and perform at these events. Yes, sir. And they have not been changed. Uh -huh. That's right. Come they on. are not trying to be changed. All right. They are who they are, but because they are in the spotlight, All right. they'll come to the church. Yeah. And they've got slews of people coming right. out, and they ain't got a forty million dollar profit from that. All right? Yeah. Yeah. Come on, sir. But but nobody brings that into question. Come on, sir. No, nobody brings it into question that you have Oprah Winfrey, yeah, a woman who has openly said Jesus is not the way. He he he's not the way. He he is not. All right. But yet Oprah Winfrey shows up. And manifest and does a, a life plan. Uh -huh. Oprah, you can't tell me nothing about a life plan. Uh -huh. Because the thing is, why are you having a woman who has a different gospel? Come on, come on. This, right. this is a different gospel. All right. This is not the gospel of Jesus Christ. All right. But yet she is speaking to believers yeah. and giving them tips on life uh -huh. when the tip should be to follow Christ. Yes. All right. All right. But again, she, she came from a church. All right. See, there's a difference in coming from a church and still being a part of the church. Right. Right. Those are two totally different yes. things. Yes. Yes. And the church and just being a part of see, that's two totally different things. Yes. Uh -huh. But because she had a tie to the church, yeah. they believe that, you know, you can't judge her, so she's still safe. She, yeah. She's still good. Uh -huh. Although she's she's openly said Christ is not the way to God. Oh, he, he's not. And God is not his name. Oh, Even though she said this and it's on record. Yeah. But hey, yeah. we can't judge over. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> too famous. Eh? <laughs> but see, she's she, she, she too famous. Yeah. And, and, and I was saying something. Jesus came oh, in a oh. meek, humble, and lowly face. Oh, yeah. oh, nice. Now why the world would Jesus want us to follow him, follow his example, right. but yet give us a platform yeah. of being famous Come when on. he wasn't famous. All right. That, that doesn't even make sense. Yeah. And then like that TV show The Preachers that was on. Yeah. Uh, so many times, you know, like they had RuPaul on the show. Yeah. And they openly gave cross dressing yeah. who said on the show. He don't believe in God. It is a higher power. It's not God. And they had RuPaul on the show giving prayer tips. Neither one of the preachers gave him any type of correction. But you know why that is? Because, see, when you got people that's all about fame and fortune, you don't forget about the gospel. I mean, as long as I can get on Channel 4, that's a big time TV station. So since I'm on Channel 4, a great opportunity uh -huh. if you don't to really spread the gospel. All right, yeah. Oh, but now, see, see, somebody like me, I wouldn't be on TV because they know I wouldn't sit there and just watch that happen. Yeah, yeah. But, but you got more people that they don't sit there, they don't watch it happen, they have nothing to say. That's exactly why they were on TV. All right. Because they're not supposed to correct nobody. Yeah, right. They're not supposed to say what the word says. Yeah. It's all about fame, fortune, and getting whatever you can get. Come on, man. It's all about money. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. And then, my final point, do not reject Christ. Yeah, that's right. Hosea 4 and 6. Yeah. My people are destroyed yeah. for lack of knowledge. That's right, man. Because that's right. thou hast rejected knowledge. Yeah, yeah. 
I will also reject thee. All right. Now, now let me stick a pen right there. People have to understand one thing. Hold up. When you have been rejected, uh-huh. you know, when, when, when they say my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Yeah. See, this is what God is saying. Mm-hmm. He's not saying they haven't got the knowledge. Right. That's it. Well, he's saying, I sent somebody to tell you the truth. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And because it wasn't what you want to hurt, right. you didn't take it. Right. And since you didn't want to hurt the truth, yeah. you rejected it. Yeah. That's it. You now stop talking to me. You don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> And now that you rejected the truth yeah. and rejected the knowledge, yeah. he will also reject you. Come on now. And, 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 and one thing a lot of our brothers and sisters be rejecting the truth on. All right. And you know, a lot of people they, they hate to hear this, but this this is gospel. All right. You know, a lot of our black brothers and sisters go to college. And they join a lot of fraternities and sororities. Mm-hmm. They mask it on the outside as being just a brotherhood of just a sister. Yeah. But when you look on the inside of these Greek letter fraternities and sororities, all right. First of all, they all are linked to Freemasonry. Yeah. And Freemasonry is not Christianity. All right. They'll tell you it. No, it's not. Because Freemasonry, you become a part of the lodge. Right. The lodge is not the church. All right. It is not. And then you have to look at Greek letters. Understand something that the Apostle Paul was dealing with. All right. Corinth was very close to Greece. All right, sir. Do you not know in Greece they were full of idolatry, idol God worship? So this is what the Apostle Paul is talking about. A lot of the false teachers who were coming in with hearsays, they were of the Greek. Gods they are worshiping. Uh-huh. So you connect yourself to an idol God. Yeah. If you connect yourself, and they're not going to tell you this. And the thing that I always say, you can't say that. You're not a part of it. It's a secret. All right. That's the case right there that you should turn away. The Bible, the Word of God is not a secret. There's no secret in the Word. I could be lost today and get saved tomorrow. And as soon as I'm saved, the Word of God is open to me. If I go on a fraternity or a sorority, I have to go through certain things before I can get told anything. I have to go through certain things before they open up the book to me. And then the thing you got to understand with the book, there's a reason why it's closed out to you. Because a real Christian, when you see deep in depth what they into, you won't join it. And then you got to understand something. Anything plus Christ should tell you there's a problem. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You, you don't have to add anything to the word of God for it to stand true. But you have to add the word of God to a fraternity or sorority to make it look true. But, but, but many people, and I mean, I, I lost many friends behind that, but I don't care. That's a fact. We need to know this. Because they come in, they make it look like there's nothing wrong. It's just, it's just a brotherhood. It's just a sisterhood. And there's actually one sorority. I can't think which one it is, but Actually, when you get married, they do a thing. They say to the sorority, I be wed, and they, they act like they slide a ring on their finger. Uh-huh. You have just made a covenant with a demon. Uh-huh. And that, that's what uh-huh. God is talking about in the Ten Commandments uh-huh. when he said, I will have no other God before me. Uh-huh. And they break that down even further. If you have made that covenant with that demon, you can pray, you can preach, you can uh-huh. sing, you can dance. you about that. Yeah. They won't teach you about that. Because that's how they got their meal tickets. Because yeah. they're part of the big sorority. Yeah. That's how they got their meal tickets. Yeah. That's how they got all the money from them. Because yeah. they're part of it. Right. So they won't teach you about that. Yeah. They won't teach you against it. Because that's how they make it their big money. Uh-huh. But what we have to understand, we have to learn to denounce those things. Yeah. Yeah. And like I said, Amen. that's a, kind of a prime case right there. All right. Now you've been given the knowledge. Either you don't accept it, yeah. or you don't reject it. Right. One of the two. Yeah. 
Yes, sir. That's it. Right, right. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But with the text, yeah. Boy, yeah. the apostle Paul, mm. the main point he was saying is to be instant. Yeah. In other words, be, be ready. Be yeah. ready. Be ready at all times. Am I right about it? Yeah. Right. Right. And, and the point, yeah. I have five points that I dealt with. All right. I get ready to come to a close. Uh, right. The first thing I dealt with, Jesus is the word. Oh, yeah. So in order to study, you have to know right. what you're studying. Am I right? right.
because that same God that died, that same God rose like he said. He promised that he'd come back. And he promised that when he came back, and we do what we're supposed to do. We keep faith in him. He will bring us with him. In my father's house, there are many men. There was not so. I want to tell you, Jesus did not make a promise just to sound good. He made a promise because he could fulfill it. Even though we we in a world a state of sin, Jesus loved us enough, and everybody's not going to accept it. Everybody's not going to come to grasp it. But Jesus still made the sacrifice. Time. I sing a small piece of this hymn. And All right. There's one that wants to come. Amen. 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 All right, brother. Thank you, brother. I just pray that I say something. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. That'll work. That'll work. Thank you. All right, then. When Jesus the word. died, he the word. took all our burdens on me. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. So I thank God for that. Oh, yes, Lord. Mm hmm. Glory, glory, all right. Amen. Right. But, but I know I got to come through that way too before they bring me that way. 
it. I guarantee you. Amen. I'll have everything, amen, complete. Amen. And certainly in knowing him, amen. And certainly even being on my way home. Amen. To be with Jesus. Amen. So we are real grateful today. Thank you again, Brother uh, Neil, for coming, amen, to be with us this morning. Amen. Was counseled, amen, but he committed himself to this. Amen. And we are here to he's been coming for quite some time now, yeah. years. Yeah. 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 Amen. And last I think his brother was able to come with him. But amen, he come over to himself, amen. But we, we appreciate that. Let us know, amen. He's committed to his word. Amen. Amen. And I'll, I'll do, amen. And he's going to be here. Amen. To uh, share with us this morning. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna move right along now. This is our first Sunday. We have missed this a um, couple of first Sunday, but Amen. It's time now. We must uh, come down, Amen, to uh, participate in our communion uh, communion uh, service today. The nurse, Amen. Make ready, uh, brother. In the fridge, we need to get you some gloves. Uh, get some gloves. We don't have. Uh, uh, we kind of got to mix up. I got some at home. Uh, send it home, but I have a, what prayer, I think it was mixed, it was both right hands and left hands, but I'm able to find some under there, <laughs> that would fit, but we'll, we'll fix that up, Ursus, amen, you need some too, yeah. uh, the future gloves, which, but we'll order some, I get my books, so I have a couple here, see if you can, see if you can match those up, brother, let me see, is this Pat, I have any left, I have to try to keep some on hand. All right, that's only better head on there, but nonetheless, we'll, we'll get to sit for that. But let's let's get ready now. We make set up. This 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 won't last long, but this is a a very important part of the service and concerning uh, uh, the ordinance of the church. We come, uh, we know baptism come first. And that's confession by faith, and after which uh, uh, the baptism, and then here we are. But if we are uh, uh, walking in fellowship, uh, fellowship and agreement, amen, uh, resting with the word of God and then walking, amen, by faith in Christ Jesus. And this is then. And I, today as we participate in this and certainly all those, amen, certainly that is walking in faith, committed to Christ, and you been baptized and received Jesus as your personal Savior, amen, and then continue to have fellowship with him. Because a lot of time uh, uh, when we do this, this is very, this is very important. Uh, when we uh, participate in this, because we're all in so many ways to address the Corinthian uh, congregation uh, concerning that nation to the body. Yes. But uh, walking in fellowship, amen, said with unbelievers and in fellowship with believers. And that means partaking with, amen, the devil. Uh, doing it and then partaking for Christ. But we want to make sure that, and those of you that have been around the church a long time, amen, that you know that uh, so you're in the right order, you're in the right uh, relationship with Christ and with the church, amen, once receiving, amen, uh, the holy, this is holy, we call it the holy communion. But I will uh, get ready, we're going to uh, read some uh, scripture here, and we ask our brother to come. This is what I'm going to do. Love to do. We're going to earth is going to receive this, uh, and then we're going to have the congregation get up. We're going to go for practice. Just come around and receive the bread and receive a message, the cup yourself. And we're going to come to it in a hurry. They don't take all to do this, and then we're going to we're going to, we're going to join hands. We're going to just make a uh, a holy circle, and then and then we're going to miss you, Amen, with uh, with prayer. But uh, we get ready. I'm going to read this. Yeah, this is coming from 1 Corinthians chapter, I'm going to go to chapter 6. First Corinthians chapter 6. Uh, this is getting reversed. Uh, this is verse 14, verse 14, chapter 6, verse 14, 15, 16. And it says, And God has both raised up the Lord, and will also raise up us by his own power. Know you not that your bodies are the members of Christ? Shall I then take the members of, of Christ and make them the members of an harlot? God forbid that. 
But he said, he have but one, no you not, that he which is joined to the hall is one body, for two say he shall be one flesh. But he that is joined to the Lord, amen, is one spirit. So what should Paul say here, he, he, he will one or the other. Amen. amen. So when we're joined to the body of Christ, so the word that's as, 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 uh, qualification, special qualification, amen, that God desires of us. So uh, we ought to walk, amen, in the knowledge, amen, certainly in, in faith and in obedience, amen, uh, through the body of Christ. So we talk about the body, here's your body right here. So we're the body of Christ, and then as partakers of this, uh, so we need to be in mind the spiritual thing and mind the holy thing. Amen. So we take holy and say, amen, that's clean, that's clean. What we wear these white gloves, what does it represent purity? Amen. 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 What these white? Right. Uh, times see the earth mission, we, we put on that white these first Sundays, mission Sundays, amen, so the, they represent things. The such as the color of the purple, amen, so it represents what loyalty, 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 the purple, and then you have the white. So uh, you see the uh, white, that's where Christ wants a horse to be. Amen. That's this, that's this glove is. Yeah, it might not be pure. You might find a third old man yeah. somewhere or another, but he wants a horse to be the same. Yeah. Amen. Amen. It's pure. Amen. And it's white. It, it, it's glove on the inside. So I thank God. Amen. Because what he does to us, he looks. Amen. Not only out of appearance, so he gives with the inner, the, in, the inward man. So that's important in the inward man. Amen. Because uh, what's in the heart, the heart. Amen. Let you know what the person we is all about. Amen. But we're grateful now that we go to the Lord in prayer. And then we are uh, continuing on, amen, with, amen, the Lord's Supper. Right here, uh, there's First Corinthians 11. So this is the cup, uh, the cup of blessings. Uh, let me get this right quickly. First Corinthians 10, 11. Oh, uh, 10, verse uh, 16, the cup a blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? The bread which we break, is it not the communion of the body of Christ? For we being uh, many of uh, one bread and one body, for, for we are all partakers, amen, of that uh, one bread. So on that night, according to the scriptures, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, uh, as they witnessed uh, some of his last uh, meetings, amen, with those the 12 disciples, amen, we know that one uh, certainly uh, denied him, uh, trade, betrayed him, Judas by name, but on that night, amen, in like matter, amen, he took, amen, the bread. Receive it first, and out of which, come on, earth, just say that, that This is my body. Amen. Which was broken, amen, for you. Yes. Isaiah 53 says, amen. He was wounded for our transgressions. Yes. Amen. Yes. And then he was bruised for our iniquities. And then in like manner, he took the cup and said, let us see him. Thank you, Lord. This is my blood. Yes, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. And we shared on Calvary's cross. Yes. Now the prayers, even on that cross, they pierced him in the side. And I came blood and I came water. Amen. The water represents baptism. And the blood, they represents simply our salvation. Amen. Yes. Our freedom. Amen. Right now we are free because of the blood. Thank you. But there's life. Amen. It was in the blood. And if we participate today, I'm going, amen. Those of you that are walking in, amen, in faith, in the newness. Of Christ. Second Corinthians 5 and 17 says, Any man be in Christ, yes. he's a new creature. Amen. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Amen. amen unto us. We may ready. Amen. We're going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, church and government let the congregation come around and I'll serve my brother as last. But we're going to have the urchins. We'll serve the urchins. And you should get up and come on around and brother, and I'm going to serve you personally. Amen. We'll be the last one to be served. Amen. All right.
sing the song of him and they marched out. Yeah. And before we dismiss in prayer, I'd sort of like to share this with you all today. You know, in doing this, uh, this will bring people closer. Yeah. 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 This will bring us closer. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. When we share it in the blood of Christ, yes. Lord, yes. this will please is God. This is very important. Yes. Yes. The word of God and the Holy Communion. Yes. Yes. Amen. Yes. And Christ said, all things you do this, please do this in remembrance of me. Now we celebrate yes. uh, Mother's Day, Father's Day, uh, New Year's Day, yes. Christmas, Easter's, New Year's, <laughs> all it. But let me tell you, this one, we are not forget. Amen. 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 To share it this way. Because we why we stand right here today in this service. Yes. Because what he did today. Yes. And I'm yes. going to share with you today. And those of you, I, I, I'm sure I invite you to start walking yes. in fellowship with Christ. Yes. Some of you, you know, you don't come to church and often as you should come and stuff. And God is still good to us. Yes. 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 But this is good that we can come. See, that this is this is unity. Yes. Yes. Unite ourselves together, amen, yeah. and join ourselves, holding these holy hands. Yeah. God smiles on this. Yeah. Yeah. When we share the honor and lift up his son for what he did. Yeah. You know, the day Jesus was baptized, God spoke from heaven. This is my beloved son, yeah. in who I am well pleased. Yeah. Please hear ye him. Yeah. Yeah. And today, we not only go to hear the word and be preached, but obey him. Yeah. Yeah. Come obedient to him like a child obeys him. And then watch God, amen, do wonderful things for you. Yes. I can't even talk about how much, how much good God has been to me. I'm trying to complain a little bit one day, my mind just cut me off. Yes. You don't shut up your mouth, amen. Bless you, God. Yes. God has been to you. Bring up these children, got kids and dogs, college, grandchildren, got more than that. You don't got to let them out. So I just shut up my mouth and had to think about it. Ourselves from this place. Yes, yes, we have discharged our duties today. Yes. Preach the word. Oh, the word yes. of God has been preached. Yes. Required and sung and prayers have been yes. made. The preaching yes. people have given. And now it's time that we must dismiss ourselves from yes. this place where we're never out of your presence. Thank you for the Holy Spirit you know, today. Yes. 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 They will be grateful to you, yes. even until your son who suffered, bled, and died yes. Yes. on Calvary's cross. Yes. We realize he didn't have to do what he did, but he so loved us. He so loved us beyond ourselves. That he sacrificed his own body, his own body. He got the sheep led to the slaughtered eyes, they say we led to the slaughtered dog. But he didn't open down his mouth. He obeyed his father. Become obedient, Paul said, even to the death on that cross. Yes, yes. Take it from that cross, but thank God he didn't stay there. Yes, and we thank God he did, but he got up, he had to get up. Yes. And when he got up, he had all power. All power. Yes. Let me tell you, church, today, we got that same spirit that raised him up. Yes. God would raise us up that day with that same spirit. Yes. So let us continue to walk in unity, yes. in love, and harmony yes. with one another. Yes. And don't forget when we just miss ourselves, oh God, we want to hurry and get back in this place. Yes. But we continue to do what we've done on today. Yes. So we thank you and we ask now may the grace of God. And may the sweet communion of the Lord is Holy Spirit that may rest food in the mouth of them all. Here for it now, we have a board that we can all be slipping together again. And all let all in the church sing it softly. Oh.